welcome back to another episode of the Bear Legacy Let's Play series. And boy, do I have some updates for you. As you can see here, we have some stranger on screen right now. Actually, we have two strangers. Oh, he is a very handsome little boy. <laughs> so what happened was, I don't know if you guys guessed yet, but this over here is Anna, aged up into a teenager without my consent. And here we have Kaden, who aged up without my consent, even earlier than Anya did. Actually, within like a couple of seconds, honestly. We recently got the new Growing Together expansion pack release, and with that came the infant update and somehow because aging was kind of shifted a little bit and after mc command center updated i also messed with the age span basically both of them just suddenly aged up and i was like what do i do and i saved at a point where basically there was no way for me to get back to when Kaden was a toddler. <laughs> if the game decides that it's time for them to become children, to grow up, suddenly I will just roll with it. But because the game bullied me, I decided to start today with some cheating because <laughs> I am over it. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat a little bit to like my liking for everybody's needs, especially their energy because I spent the wee hours of the morning on Friday trying to figure out what is happening with these two kids and um, I couldn't find a solution like I said so here we are. Also before I start anything, let us all appreciate this bowl of food. It is looking so yummy. What is this even? Nan? It's tandoori but oh my goodness, I want some butter naan. So basically, we are going to get everybody to take a vacation day off school because I think we're going to start our vacation to Granite Falls as promised early because I feel like I deserve it now. Why are you sad now? Purpose of life too? What is your purpose? Oh, you wanted to make friends and I haven't had you do like all your admired icon stuff. We will, I promise. Um, focus more on everybody's aspirations once we're back from vacation but now we are trying to run away from reality and go on a vacation now oh i should probably run you through how both anya and kaden aged up to become okay so this is anya she grew up a little bit taller i don't really know who she takes more after but i feel like all of the children really have like a strong Isla and Ilardi's gene, except for maybe Kaden. I think Kaden looks a lot like um, Chance. Let's go through their traits. Anya was a outgoing child and I think she wrote the cheerful traits. And I don't know why, but I felt like giving Anya the master chef aspiration. And then Kaden, on the other hand, I gave him the slumber party animal aspiration. For his traits, he wrote music lover, which is pretty cool. So he is a music lover like his father. I can't wait to see how it all develops. And also, we do have like the milestones now and we have growing together the gameplay so I'm quite excited with playing family gameplay with the bears. I'm using like a custom lifespan by the way. So basically instead of the super duper long default long lifespan setting, I went for like a good middle. It was still an arbitrary number but I thought I just like doubled the number of days in a normal lifespan on MC Command Center. You know what actually, let me just highlight to you what I did okay? So I think that will be easier to explain. So I went into the MC Command Center setting settings and um, set each span duration over here. So there are options for cats, dogs and humans and I adjusted for a normal lifespan. So um, there's no lifespan adjustment for infants yet, unfortunately. I would have liked that. It's not that we're going to be seeing an infant anytime soon. But for now we have babies all the way to elders, right? So um, I, I changed the babies back to three days. Hotless default is seven days so I can like times doubled this to 14 and then I kind of added a couple more days so arbitrarily toddlers have 18 days in my game and then children have um, 13 days by default and 30 in my game and teenagers had 50 instead of 21 and the young adult have 55 instead of 24 and the adults have 70 instead of 33. I was just like going up the scale like I kept the general um, scale of things. They will have quite a long life but um, hopefully not too long because the default long lifespan can be quite unbearably long and then like instead of like a meager 14 days for elderly I pushed it up to 30 days as well so we can have our elders for much longer by default 
Um, for cats and dogs, I might as well show you. I'm just going to show the adult one to save some time. So I just gave cats 50 days instead of 21. And for dogs, adults get 55 days because I think dogs live a little bit longer than cats in The Sims game. So that is the arrangement after the update and um, somewhere along the road the changes made my sims age up without my consent and i'm still a little bit salty about it but you know what can we do so um now that everybody is ready and up and having breakfast and doing well and <laughs> isla has why is there such a huge puddle of water here i actually don't know but anyways we're gonna pack a couple of things like i'm gonna get um, chance to carry all of the instruments like we have another violin here which I'm going to just gift it to Kaden oh I haven't showed you their room um, Anya's room stayed literally the same and Kaden's room Kaden and Dante's room changed a little bit because I really needed it to fit two boys now like two growing boys so they um, have a new bunk bed with two beds um, the desk was moved from this wall to this wall and we added I mean like we kept Dante's original arts and craft table and we kind of merged it with this bookshelf to make it look as if it is attached and one piece of furniture and also I miss them so much but okay okay I'm over it I'm over it I will be okay anyways okay um what else do I need to pack um I honestly don't think there's anything else that we really need to pack on our way to the vacation home okay anyways Isla it is time for you to fulfill your dreams of going on a vacation so let's get Isla to take that vacation right now we are going to Granite Falls so the entire family is coming along with us all four children our husband and our cat is also coming along with us we're just going away for like the entire weekend we're gonna spend Friday saturday and sunday i'm gonna say three days but sometimes i don't know how the timing works so i'm not sure if i'm supposed to write three days four days I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna guess three days i have prepared this lot for the family but we're going to pretend that isla has been browsing on granite falls website for a while and she has been keeping tabs on like potential places to stay when she actually takes that vacation to granite falls finally and um, she finally landed on this one especially because she has such a large family she will need a very specific space to be able to house four children <laughs> so she finally found the perfect home we're gonna say that she was like oh my goodness this is so pretty and so perfect but the only downside is it's a little bit more expensive it is like 1.5k for a day and we're going to be renting it for three days which is going to knock us back 4.5k so our beautiful little family not little our beautiful family of the bears are going on a vacation to granite falls now let's go and so what do you know it is raining the moment we arrive at granite falls isn't that wonderful but look at this amazing house it is so pretty <laughs> it has a pool right in front and it is um, a beautiful huge house huge cottage perfect for a family staying over for a couple of days if you want this house i will be putting the name of the build on the gallery and the creator's name in the description box down below but do keep in mind that i gave the entire house a renovation and a facelift so um on the gallery it doesn't look like this but i did not change the floor plan or the structure or just gave it kind of like an update because um, i think it was made quite a while ago um and um, with limited packs as well so i just used all of the stuff that i had and made the house even better than before so i think before we get started with most of the gameplay let me just do a small little tour around the place i think we might be able to appreciate a little bit of a tour even though it's raining i hope the gloomy weather lightens up and leaves us soon but look at isla and how happy she looks right now i think she looks happy yeah she looks happy <laughs> she's like i'm finally at granite falls i can't wait to do everything look at our little kitty in the room here checking out the new place brave kitty Anyways, this is the entrance. We have our staircase right here. Over there, we have like a little toilet. It's like a little single cubicle toilet, um, but useful enough. <laughs> and uh, over here, it is like quite open concept. We have a kind of like um, study reading room situation and it leads into the parents' bedroom like the master bedroom on the first floor right here like so i'm sorry if this tour is a little bit nauseating but i'm trying to make my camera not 
nothing too jerky but this is the interior of the master bedroom and this is the master bathroom which is very beautiful as well and we only have a bathtub in this one but i think it's beautiful we even have a tv on the wall for this this is amazing stuff i feel like the people who rent out this home for tourists um they really like design i feel and um, they probably utilize this home when they're in Granite Falls as well but for the most part they do rent it out and um, gain some additional income that way but this is the open concept living dining kitchen area we have like quite a good sized kitchen oh we have Caden drinking a glass of water he must be thirsty from the I'm imagining a short plane flight over here to Granite Falls or a car ride I don't know one of them um, so this is the kitchen. We have a huge island with three chairs, dining, living, fireplace, and then we have like the sunroom over here with another fireplace and a sitting area just for some cozy vibes for the family to hang out here too. And then I think this is the first floor done. I'll show you the backyard since we're at it. So this is the patio. So we have some outdoor dining space here. We have a basketball hoop which is going to be useful, a campfire spot um, and over in this corner here we do have the barbecue pit and then of course in Granite Falls we can't say no to the horseshoe game so that's there we have a picnic table and a easel as well and that's the first floor and let us go back in to the staircase here let's go upstairs there we go so oh. This is very disorienting, but over here we do have like a family room. It's a very small squeeze, um, kind of like walkway through to the family room where there is a large TV. There are games, sport games and stuff underneath the TV as well. Um, everything that a family would need to hang out together on the second floor. So a cozy little space, nothing over here. Moving back across, there is there would be the kids suite. Would a kid's suite be like the right word for it, I wonder? But anyways, this is where the kid, the children will be sleeping. It's like a whole apartment on itself. Um, this is how it looks like. It's very blue, very themed. And uh, oh, and Roxanne has already found the bed and she's like, you know what, I want to go to sleep now. Why Roxanne? But anyways, okay, so this is the room. I guess Roxanne has already chosen the bed that she wants to use. So I guess Anya is taking that one here. I was thinking Anya and Roxanne can take one room and then the boys can take the upstairs room or something. So we have like a little kitchenette here with like a mini fridge. I imagine there will be like, you see, facial masks and stuff stocked here as well. Um, microwave and sink everything you need and another like nice gaming corner movie night corner over here with like things for children and teenagers both and then moving upstairs oh wait, actually we should check out the toilet first we have our dressing room over here um there is a mirror over there and then this is our shower room so showers there bathtubs there and over on this corner we do have the other side of the bathroom i couldn't say no to using these and we ask you cute kitty tile um, swatch so i used it <laughs> i love using that tile with the kitties it's so cute and then moving upstairs it's like given the smaller space it's like the rooftop area now i love that it's like so filled with light as well with all the nice glass windows and stuff so this area i think is better seen from this angle so we have um, the bunk beds for the two boys and then we have a games table this one is from the growing together one so i imagine they will be able to do like puzzles and scrabble and stuff and that would be pretty nice so i just thought it would be a nice cozy space it's like a two level suite for the children so that is the house what do you guys think let me know what you think down below i mean i did not build this someone else did it was very brilliant i was so amazed this is such a good build i hope you guys like the tour and let's get started with like gameplay shall we chance is already feeling inspired and playing violin in the rain i'm not gonna stop him he can do whatever he wants dante is talking to anya right now and uh, both of them are like just getting their socials up i guess anya drank something smooth sipping what cheered to death from listening to a cheerful sin oh okay dante is like Ugh, you're so cheerful <laughs> I think Dante really needs to go to the bathroom soon, so I will just direct him over to one of these. I'm gonna get Isla to uh, fill up this feeder 
for Naru. It is so gloomy, guys. I'm so sad. Also, Roxanne, don't be sad. You're on vacation, too. She's already gone to watch TV, but I guess you can't really do anything when it's like raining. But I feel like the sun is coming up a little bit, so hopefully we'll be able to do some sort of outdoor activity before long. Um, Roxanne is now angry. I don't know how to handle this. Oh my goodness. Let's get Isla to make something. We're gonna go for maybe um i think a steak alfredo is good enough i like to i mean this is such a good dish anyway so i'm gonna get Isla to make a party size okay i'm gonna get Isla to invite anya to join cooking so anya has something to do and roxanne is going to go find kaden now to chat with kaden and i think that's fine too chance has nothing to do. Wait, hold on. What do you want to do, Chance? You want to achieve level 8 in 6 skills. You have one more skill to go, and the closest skill you have to level 8 is. Let's see. We have level 7 in parenting. Writing is close. Oh, maybe we can get him to just practice some writing instead of actually doing any writing right now. So while he's waiting, we'll get him to mm, write. Just practice some writing. I think that's fine. And then while Ayla and Anya prepare food, maybe we'll get Roxanne to play a multiplayer game, Party Frenzy, with Kaden and Dante. Isn't that fun? Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is what dreams are made of. Except we are in Granite Falls, so I hope we can, you know, go outdoors at some point, but it's raining, so... Oh yes, okay, food is ready. I was thinking if I would like them to also prepare some desserts, just because. So maybe we can get them to work and I don't know, I don't know what's good dessert. Chocolate nuts, it looks good. Okay, well, I'm gonna get Anya to get started on that instead of going to watch TV. They just keep gravitating towards the TV though, don't do that. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna ask Ayla to also join us with the cooking. Oh, not the wrong way. Where are you going? Come back here. Oh, she's scared. Okay, come and sit here. Do not be scared. You're fine. You have to be your daughter's rock. She's learning how to cook. Okay, so your daughter's gonna invite you to cook with her. So please do that while Chance is working on his last skill and then I think that will bring us so much- Oh! And then we'll be a renaissance sim! <gasps> oh, that is perfect! Roxanne is angry. I hate this! You know what guys? I have done this for a multiple of my saves but I think I'm going to commit to this save as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off wants and fears because I had enough of them getting irrationally angry and irrationally sad too tired of trying to make some sort of emotions work and make sense with their storyline and their storytelling. I hate it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's pull the steak Alfredo over to this table. And then I think, yes, the dessert's ready too. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I have shown this so many times on my channel already, but it's so good. And then we have those over there. Oh, those are like lovely little cupcakes with like colored marshmallows on top. I've never had it, but I would have it. It's making me hungry right now, and I am craving some sweet stuff. Okay, anyways, I'm going to get Ayla and Anya to talk a little bit while we wait for the rest of the family to get ready. Maybe, oh, oh, we got our first family dynamic in this house. Oh, lovely. Jokesters, cue the punchline. Ayla and Anya just can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Family members with the jokesters, family dynamic will choose to perform funny or mischievous interactions with each other more often and they'll feel extra playful when spending time together. Would you describe the family dynamic between Ayla and Anya as being jokesters? Yes! Okay, um, Anya, could you please do me a favor and empty your bladder, please? Thank you very much. And um, Ayla is kind of getting a little bit tired, but I feel like it's time to call everybody in the household to meal. And I don't think Chance is going to get um, to level seven, no, level eight, anytime soon. So I'm gonna get him to like just go and get that meal. And I think the rest of the kids are coming downstairs too for the meal too. So also, Anna, why are you eating outside? Is that a sign? Are we supposed to eat outside now? Can we just get everybody to come here and eat? Um, Chance decided to get a plate of dessert to eat instead, but Chance is joining us at this table. Everybody is going to come and grab a meal and sit. Oh no. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> is Dante not going to? But apparently, yeah. We are- Oh! Ayla, you eat so fast! Ayla is done! 
because the family meal is never gonna happen. Like, everybody's sitting together. Apparently, Chan's Dante and Kaden decided to eat dessert instead of the main meal. I am totally okay with that, I guess. We're fine. It's okay. We have enough food. But okay, let's get um, Roxanne to talk to- Oh my goodness. Was that lightning? That is not good. We can't even go outside. Um, but anyways, let's get a chance to talk to these kids. Maybe Isla can also come back. Oh, Dante is leaving too. This is so hard to maintain. It's only 2.42 and it feels like it's evening or something because it is so overcast. What is everybody gonna do? Oh, maybe we can get some people to come and play some puzzles or something up here? Oh no! This is a serious problem. <laughs> So if I can lengthen this a little bit, is there a chance that we can actually walk past this area and finally access this? I don't think it is blocking much, but maybe just in case, just in case I will um, put it straight. It's not the nicest design wise, but if it works, I am happy. Are we able to just go here now? Oh yay! Okay, I think we fixed it. Okay, so if we can finally play some symbols. Um, can I play with more than just these people? Can we play symbols with? Alright, we get three. Dante doesn't want to- okay, fine. We'll play with mom. Uh, yeah, let's play with mom as well. And Dante, you know, since you're not doing much, I don't actually know. We'll just go and hang out with Narumi a little bit. And maybe Dante can start training his magic a little. I mean like this is a vacation, he's not supposed to train that hard but I feel like he would. He's the type to- oh this is such a nice scene though. I think Narumi is just feeling extremely tensed because of the thunderstorm. Poor kitty. Like I said, I'm gonna get Dante to practice some magic. I'm gonna get him to practice some- maybe because he's on holiday we'll get him to practice some mischief magic just, just because. And then Chanza is just having a cuppa right now. <laughs> Spending time with his family, I think that's fine too. Because he's a workaholic after all. I feel like he would be the type to be like, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm going to go back to my practicing how to write better for my next book. <laughs> and uh, oh my goodness, look at the family playing some symbols. I wonder if we can compliment most of my teenagers. You know, do parenting things, make sure that they are confident and all that. Ayla could definitely, you know, take this opportunity to spend more time with her children. She has spent quite a bit of time with Dante since both of them are spellcasters in the house, like the practicing spellcasters, like Hayden is not there yet. So I was thinking, maybe Ayla was like, yeah, I finally can spend more time with the rest of my children, playing some symbols, and she's really happy that she's spending this time with family, I think. No, she's also still thinking about like the things she has to do um, for being in Granite Falls. So I think she will have to harvest 10 unidentified plants and catch five fishes in Granite Falls and do a lot of like the outdoor activity things. We might have to get her to max her out her herbalism skill. I'm not sure how that's going to happen because I have never played with that before. So we will figure out how to make that happen throughout our vacation here once the rain lets up somehow, one way or another. Dante, all the best with the magic practicing, um, an overachiever if you've ever seen one, and um, a workaholic if you've ever seen one over here, working on his writing, but he is really really close to becoming a renaissance sim. He is dripping wet, oh my goodness. Um, do you want to get out of your soaking wet? Oh yes, aspiration achieved! Chance has completed the renaissance sim aspiration congratulations i finally made someone's aspiration complete oh my goodness we can totally move on to another thing now chance has so much life ahead of him okay let's see what is a good one to do okay wait wait hold on hold on before that we do have like the reward trait right so we're a professorial so with the professorial sims can write helpful manuals about any skill they are well versed in isn't that fun okay let's see what do we want i feel like chance is really not the type to want to be like fabulously wealthy or have like a very very amazing mention of anything if anything maybe he would start finally doing like a super parent thing i feel like this should be a super parent by now <laughs> so should we just put him under super super parent or successful lineage 
because he is a parent and he has four children what do you guys think a big happy family i feel like he has a big happy family this might be even more suitable for chance's situation rather than being like a super amazing parent or even like bothering about like the lineage even though he did become the heir so like continuing the family legacy is something that is in his brain but maybe he can change to that one in the future another one that i can really see him becoming or not two actually he can either be a musical genius because he is very musical he loves music and um, he can totally like start focusing on another skill that can bring him more in depth into the skill like his violin skill especially or especially because he is now an author he could definitely do this one and work his way up to becoming a best-selling author which is going to give him the poetic what trait? A poetic sim can capture life itself in a book and wield it to bring back someone they've lost. <gasps> what? You can do that? Should we try? Okay, I think this one is good. But I was also thinking that we could totally switch between that one and the big happy family one depending on how he feels at the current moment. Like he can have like two running aspirations at once if you like if you're like a real human being you have more than one aspiration hopefully i'm going to see if i will remember to interchange between the two so we can collect the experience points but currently because he is already writing i'm gonna select the best selling author one especially because he just reached renaissance sim i feel like that's like a very natural transition i am very bothered by the fact that he is dripping wet though but he is not feeling any sort of bothered any sign of being bothered by that i'm gonna get him to take a mud bath just because he can honestly and dante is done with his practice so he's here hanging out with the rest of the family did he learn any new mischief skills i didn't catch any if he did hmm i don't think he did he did reach level two in dancing though ah and dante decides he likes retro music guys that is so dante how does the game know what dante is like as a person i am impressed <laughs> I'm not sure how long a simple game is supposed to go for. Does it go on forever? When are they gonna stop? Chance is almost done with his mud bath. I really don't want him to continue on with like writing this entire vacation. I'm gonna get him to finish showering first because usually when you get out of the mud bath, you're not the cleanest. And then once we're done with that, I'm gonna get- Oh wait, did I forget to put the- I forgot to put the food back into the fridge. I'm just gonna get him to get some leftovers. Hopefully they haven't spoiled yet. Isla is feeling pretty tired. The rest of the family is feeling actually pretty tired except for maybe Dante. He could- Oh, look at Nermi! Oh my goodness! She is so cute. I guess Dante is also going to get some leftovers. Anya too. I think everybody's like ready for dinner. Most of us are. So I'm gonna get everybody to stop playing the symbols because it's been like forever and it's still continuing. Do they not stop? Does no one win? I mean, I'm happy they're having fun though, honestly. Kaden is also eating now. Oh, so cute. Kaden, talk to your brother. Don't tease about face. Just quote a cartoon character that you saw on TV today while you were playing lots of games. Isla is feeling extremely tired, so I'm gonna get her to stop talking. She's feeling really energized because of the coffee that she has taken. Look at Isla to go sleep now. She is so tired. Chance is also going to go to sleep after that meal. Roxanne is gonna go to sleep after the meal too. So I'm gonna get Roxanne to be assigned to this bed and then sleep. Anya shall enjoy the bathroom in the kids' suite and then turn off the TV and then go to sleep. I am just going to struggle through getting everybody into bed. Good morning, everybody. It is... I have no idea what time. I forgot to check <laughs> before coming into this little short, but... Chance is currently making some strawberry pancakes for breakfast. He was the first one to wake up and he looks so good. Oh my god, Chance looks so good, guys. After his makeover as an adult, I can't believe how good he looks. I just... I can't get over it. Okay, anyways. Everyone is also waiting for some um, breakfast. Dante has gone ahead to get one of the chocolate nests leftovers from last night to eat first. Um, Roxanne's just waiting on the food. Caden was the last one to go to sleep so he's still kind of tired so he is just filling up on his energy, sleeping in a little bit which is totally fine. Chance is taking way too long with the strawberry pancakes so um, everybody in the house is so done with waiting for it. Okay Anya, you can get a serving of freshly made fluffy strawberry pancakes instead of steak alfredo for breakfast so let's get that. Meanwhile, Isla is making some butter naan again. 
which is always yummy, I feel so. Lily will do it. It's probably like a one serving for himself. Um, Kaden is probably done with sleeping now. He needs a shower first, so let's go up and deal with Kaden's needs. But before that, new family dynamic. Jokesters! Anya has a jokesters type of relationship with both Chance and Ayla and I find that very amazing. It's like she has such a good relationship with her parents, she can joke around and they're okay with it. But anyways, Roxanne, what are you, what are you doing? Doing homework? On vacation? I'm gonna just let you do it. Maybe you're rushing some important thing. I also like how um, Isla made- Oh, she made eight tandoori butternut. Oh, that is beyond my expectations. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. The sun is out if you guys haven't noticed. I'm gonna get Anya to go and do a jog and Kaden is done with his shower. I'm gonna get him to come downstairs here to get some leftovers. And once Isla is done with her meal of strawberry pancakes. She is going to deal with what she has to do in um, Granite Falls, so she has to go fishing. I feel like there's a fishing spot nearby. We also have to harvest plants, so I think we're going exploring a little bit today. Okay, let's go get this frog because why not? It's right there. We're going to go and see if we can find a fishing spot while we're at this. And where are the plants? Okay, we have one here. Let's harvest unidentified un- right? <laughs> Let's have us the unidentified fruit. And um, over here I see the fishing sign. So perhaps I can get Isla to come here and go fishing. I think she's in a very nice dress right now. Oh no, not dress, but an outfit. She looks so good. She is wearing the Chinese New Year collection from Serenity. Oh my god, that was so pretty. I feel like Isla looks so good in red. But yes, she is going to go on a little adventure in heels because our Isla is amazing and glam the same time. Roxanne's going to be done with her homework soon and then maybe she can go out for a swim. That might be cool. Dante is already swimming which is also cool. Oh I think I just stopped her from doing her homework. You know what it's fine. It's like the weekends anyways. And I realized that um, some of the furniture around the house has been zapped which is going to be nice and replace this little stone slab for 75 simoleons even though we don't really technically own this place. Ayla has started the fishing. Um, Kaden is asking, I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? That present must for you be grateful or share give it to someone else. In this household, we take in people's kindness and love with no questions. So it was for you. You have to learn to be grateful. It's not on them. <laughs> People gave you a gift. Come on. Oh, this is also zapped. Okay, let's just replace this. We have eight. Oh. Should I just replace this? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna replace it, but because it's not our property, I think it's fair. I'm just gonna put back $800 and also the $75 from the other thing that we replaced. So we'll just add it back into the household fund. Okay, Anya, come and um, push. Kaden on the swing. Um, Isla, how's the fishing going? Do you think you like fishing? She's feeling inspired. She's a true chef. <laughs> and real treasure for milestone reflection. A life filled with friends is a good life and Isla made many over the years. Okay, she was not able to fish anything from this area, but she did harvest one plant. So I think that's okay. We can try another area for fishing. Can I still harvest that basil? I don't think that's a unidentified plant. I don't even think it counts. Oh, there's another one over here. Unidentified flower for harvesting. Um, what is this? Oh, are those ladybugs? Collect insects. Oh, ladybugs. Is it, are they going to disappear for us? I think I might. We might have to go for. The lady. Okay, please, please tell me. I have never seen this before, guys. I have never noticed ladybugs. They are so cute. I'm learning to, you know, love some of the helpful insects in the animal kingdom. Oh, is this another fishing spot? Is this the same one? Let's go fishing here. No, this is the river. This might be simpler because it's the river. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But there is chance, anyways. He is. Ch oh no, they're having such nice family time. Oh my goodness, my heart. You guys should go outside though, honestly. You shouldn't be here. Let's play this with Anya and Kaden. Maybe he's like, okay guys, let's not be spending time indoors when the sun is out and shining. Let's go play some horseshoe game. Actually, is it even called the horseshoe game? <laughs> what is this game? Um, I don't know. It's the horseshoe game, I think. <laughs> 
and I think Chance did a painting. Oh my goodness, that looks so cute! But it's like, we want to be able to use this in the house, so I'm gonna get Chance to just to collect her when he has the time. Roxanne wants to just make friends, but I don't know if there's any friends around. I don't see another soul that is worth making friends with. If we see a teenager, maybe we'll say hi. Oh my goodness, I was just saying if, but apparently we do see a teenager, so let's go and say hi and um, try to make a new friend. Okay, Charity is going to pee herself at some point, so I feel very bad. Hold on, there's actually more teens than I had expected. There's also Regan Michelli over here who is a teen as well. Oh, we can't talk to this one though, she's going somewhere else. Ayla finally caught a fish! I am so proud of her! Yay! We have harvested 3 out of 10 unidentified plants. We have reached fishing level 2. I think this is going pretty well. Um, Chance and the kids are still playing with the horseshoe game. I actually have never seen this before. Let's see. There's bugs everywhere. Are we able to get like bug resist, um, like bug repellent or something? Because I feel like that might be necessary. Dante has given up on the fishing and he is riding his bike back. We get chance to come out to it. Okay, Roxanne is on her teenager friend mission, so we're getting three other family members that have not tested fishing yet to come and fish together. Wow, Roxanne, how is the interaction going? No, she has already given up and she is now cow gazing. Can I ask why everybody is struggling with their bladder today? Because that is weird. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, so do we have more friends? That's really what I want to know. There's no one else. Oh, is that a teenager? Are you a teenager, sir? No, you're Don- Wait, you're a Dante too? But you're a Dante beta. That's not the teenager we want. You're not a teenager. Roxanne is not making friends. Did she manage to say hi to that one person? I don't think the person's here. I don't think she made it. But I feel like if she wants to thug gaze here in front of the house, by all means, <laughs> do so. Is that a teenager? No, you're not a teenager, Katherine Watson. Come on, give me a teenager, guys. Give me a teenager game. There were two and then there were none. Oh, that's a teen. Jordan Tala. But why is everybody feeling like they need to pee? <laughs> okay, Roxanne is very close to Jordan right now, so let's get her to go and say hi to said teen. She's like, hi, what are you doing in Granite Falls? He's gonna say, oh, I live here. He looks like he might live here. <gasps> oh yeah, there's promise. I feel like we should go to prom though because we did promise Shoji that we'll be going to prom with him as friends, by the way. I still can't believe it's as friends. But um, yeah, we shouldn't say no to going to prom. So I think since it's possible for us to just go to prom from our vacation home, I know it makes no sense, absolutely zero sense in real life. We're just gonna do it because it's the sims and i don't want to disappoint shoji because we love shoji i feel like dante and anya is just gonna give it a miss i want to be focusing on roxanne and also i feel like roxanne is the only one who really made promises to go to the prom so i'm gonna get roxanne to go honestly i don't really want them to go to prom every single week especially because they're going to have like a longer lifespan as a teenager 50 days means like um i can't do math but i think it is like seven weeks so seven proms if you go every single saturday i don't want to do that. Prom is not happening every Saturday. But either way, I'm going to stop for today because it's time to end the episode. The episode has gone on for long enough, so we will have to definitely check back in. Look at Roxanne's face. Oh my goodness. Roxanne is so cool. But yes, we will have to check back in next week for the prom and the rest of the Granite Falls vacation. Look at Roxanne walking into prom looking so confident and a little bit snarky. I just know next episode is going to be amazing. Thank you so much for watching the way to this point if you have i appreciate you guys very much always thank you so much for your patience by the way as i navigate life and try my best to get content out for you as consistently as i can thank you so much for your well wishes if you gave me any and i'll see you in my next video take care guys have a good one bye just like i'm supposed to do i'm yours you're mine Sure, I've been there too. We just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. That's fine.